are so many lessons for us. What will Mama Ocean teach us today? I'm Cade, and I'm eight years old. I love the ocean because I feel free in it, and I feel like I fly too. Hi, my name's Jason, and I am 35 years old. I'm here with my family at Pillar Point Tide Pools, and I love the ocean because I've been in the ocean my entire life surfing and having fun and diving, and it's just something I really love. I love seeing the sea creatures swimming free and healthy. My name is Joanna, and I am 35 years old. We live in Half Moon Bay with my family. We're huge ocean lovers. We dive, swim, surf, and these days we really feel the urge to protect the ocean and all the sea creatures. So I love diving and I love being underwater. This is Arrow. Say hi, Arrow. Say hi. hi. Say my name is Arrow. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and he likes going with daddy and mommy to the ocean, huh? High five. Boom. When you come in tide pools, try not to step on any sea creatures, like sea anemones. Number two. The tide comes up and down, so be really careful. Rule number three, when you see litter, pick it up. We need to protect the sea creatures. Today, we are going on a tide pool scavenger hunt. Let's see what Jaden and her family will find. Camouflage? Yeah. You wouldn't tell. I found him. Find it. You find it. Jade found a hermit crab. Let's say hermit crab together. Hermit crab. Did you know hermit crabs swap shells like we swap clothing? They even fight over who has the nicest shells. Hermit crabs also love to be in groups. They will wave to each other and flick their legs at each other to say hi. Hermit crabs are also impacted by humans. They sometimes pick up plastic pieces and use them as shells. This is like us wearing trash all day. This is why we need to leave enough shells on the beach for all the crabs to live in. Stick to sea glass if you want to collect treasure on the beach. What do you got? Shrimp. What? Mm, shrimp business. Shrimp business. Jason found a shrimp. Can we all say shrimp? Shrimp. Did you know shrimp's color depends on the ocean around them? So when they are in a bright tropical ocean, they are brighter in color. When they are in a brown, muddy river, they are darker in color. This is how they blend in. Shrimps are very important in the food chain. Let's pause. What's the food chain? This is how animals eat each other in the wild. The smallest animals are eaten by larger and larger animals. So a shrimp might be eaten by a fish, which is then eaten by a seal, which is then eaten by a shark. We want to protect the food chain in order to keep the ocean happy and healthy. These are turban snails. And we say turban snail? Remember how we talked about hermit crabs changing shells? Hermit crabs love turban snail shells. So when we see them on the beach, let them be. Sea anemones, they even eat little pieces of crab. It's really interesting. They're very sensible to uh, whatever food or predators are above the water. And they can hide quickly. Sea anemone. Can we say sea anemone? 
see an enemy reach out with tentacles to ensnare food. It's very easy for them to catch tiny pieces of plastic and then eat them. Yuck. These guys are filter feeders, yeah? When the, when the waves wash up, the barnacles, they send out this little feathery thing into the ocean and they filter out the little plankton and, and, and microscopic organisms for food. Barnacles, can we say barnacles? Here are some animals we did not find at the tide pool today. Sea urchins. Can we say sea urchin? Sea urchins are the scientists of the water. They can tell us if the water is polluted or not. If they have drooping spines and are not the right color, it means that something is wrong with the water. Mr. Whale wants to learn about plastic. Let's see what Joanna has to say. Look, Mom. I found a piece of plastic. Oh, good job, Jade. Plastic is really, really dangerous for animals. What could happen? They can eat it, they get sick and die. Right. The tide comes, takes the plastic away, a whale goes feeding, she's thinking she's having some fish, and there you go, she eats some plastic. Oh no, that's so dangerous. I'm glad you found it. Learn, explore, and play with us to 